Hey, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Pot Dozier, man. Back with another video. Hey, uh, I had a little topic on my head and me on my mind. You feel me? And uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, self accountability, like holding yourself accountable. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> that's something, you feel me? That's something right there that I done implemented. And I feel like with anybody out here, if you if you just learn the concept of holding yourself accountable for whatever situation because you know we all we always like you know especially my people we always like to blame everything except our, uh, everything else but not ourselves you feel me so you know you got the uh we got the uh, you got men who blame women for a lot of shit you feel me or uh, modern women this and that and all that bitch ass shit, you feel me? Then you got women who, you know, vice versa, blaming men for certain stuff, you feel me? Oh, man, not, uh, 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 man, not just, uh, the mask, man, not masculine nowadays, and this and that, so I don't know how to be feminine, like, you feel me? That dumb ass shit, you feel me? And then you got it, and, and that's, that's his own topic right there, but, I'm talking about just holding yourself accountable in every aspect, like where you trying to go at in life, where you at in life. Like, um, I had this thing, you know, I, I do music and shit, and I got this line where I just was like talking about how I was looking, like basically like looking myself in the mirror because when people say that, that sounds like a little quote, like oh, I had to look myself in the mirror, but it's a real thing. Like I ain't saying literally, like literally looking at yourself in the mirror, but it's like. A lot of people want to blame their parents and shit. So this, this one I'm getting at, like, that's the biggest one. Like, people blame their parents and the system and the government and, 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 and all society. And then it's like, man, that's a mindset that, you know, uh, you're going to doubt. You're going to doubt that mindset if you're coming from any urban places. Like, you feel me? You're going to go to feeling like, damn, man, like, you know. I, I, my, the chances of me getting get, getting my life together slim because of my mama, my daddy ain't teach me this, or, or the school ain't teach us this. Which is, I mean, some of that stuff got true to it. I always, when they kind of like the mama and daddy part, I always say like, what the, like who taught a nigga mama and daddy anything? You feel me? So nigga gotta ask them out the equation because, especially me at my age, you feel me? I'm I'm, I'm about to be thirty, so it's like all that shit go out the window. I just turned twenty nine, but it's like. All the blaming, you know, and that been went out the window. I, I've never really been around here blaming my parents and, and blaming my old girl and old boy. But that's a popular thing. But then you got the school, you know, and I, I fell into that school ain't teaching nigga nothing and all that. Because I just felt like, you know, a nigga is behind. Like, when you graduate in school, if you did graduate, or even if you didn't graduate, but, like, a lot of the stuff you learn, it, it going to have you behind, which is true. You feel me? Like, you 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 know you you need to know the basics. We all need to know the basics. You feel me? But at the same time, it's like it come down to decision making. And at a young age, you ain't looking at yourself and and really holding yourself accountable. Talking about like everybody want to go somewhere, everybody want to be somewhere in life, but you ain't telling yourself like, man, all right, I'm I'm from the bottom, from the struggle. Uh, I'm I'm not where I want to be. But if I go do this, do that, and do that, I be here like. We, a lot of us ain't doing that. You feel me? We we kind of we kind of uh, caught up into trying to make a decision right right out of school whether you gonna go to college or you know in my case shit I'm gonna go get me a job and try to get some money to put to do this music. And other people case I'm finna go. You know I got a lot of niggas. I'm finna jump in the streets get some money. I'm finna you know. But it's never like like taking a, a solid path to where you trying to go because we don't really know where we trying to go. But I don't want to get off, off track with that. You know, I'm just saying, like, when I got to the point in my life where I started holding myself accountable, a lot of stuff couldn't phase me. You feel me? Like, I went, I, you know, I ain't going to get too too deep into my, you know, my personal life. But, man, nigga done went through a lot of stuff in the last few years, like, especially as an adult with kids and shit. You feel me? Like, really seeing how I feel and really be the man and the one who being depended on for certain shit you feel me it's like this shit ain't easy you feel me but when i look at my life and the certain decisions i make i always come back to say like 
it's a I'm the reason for a lot of shit. You feel me? I'm not even a lot of shit. I'm the reason for everything. You got some people complain because they got kids. See, I ain't gonna never be that type of nigga. You feel me? I love my kids to death. You feel me? Like ain't nobody could tell me. You know, I be seeing a lot of people talking about don't have a kid. You know, hey. I mean, I guess it is truth to that because when you got kids, you you gotta you gotta you gotta play a different role. But me is like, nigga, I'm a, I'm a ball and shine with my kids. You feel me? That's how I look at me having kids. Like, I don't regret them at all. You feel me? Like, you know, I'm I, you know my kids, man. I don't know. I ain't gonna get in too deep into that either. But but that's a decision right there. You feel me? Like. A lot of people just be uh blaming everything else instead of looking at they self and looking at the part they played in it. You feel me? And it's like, man, you when you go to holding yourself accountable, like for instance, me, when I was 15 years old, I thought I would have been rich and famous from rap at 18. And then when I was 18, I thought the same thing at 21. And then now I'm 29, and I when I look back at my life, I'm looking like, okay, I actually could have made it in music, you feel me? But when a nigga throw that butt in, now I'm looking at it like I wasn't willing to do certain stuff. Like, I, first of all, it's, it's a lot of niggas who rap, who do music, who who really just like I got my own studio and everything. But I'm gonna be real, even when I have, even even with that, I ain't just on it all day every day because you got it. You got a lot of stuff going on in the, in, in the rap to where I wasn't willing to do. You feel me? So I got to blame myself why I ain't where I want to be with the music. And nowadays, I don't I don't even want to make it. In, like I don't give a damn about being no rapper. It's just that's something I still love to do. That's my passion. But, you know, you got a lot of niggas who you got to click up with certain niggas. You got to be in the midst, in which I was in the midst of a lot of shit, especially in my city. You didn't, in my city, you know, you you especially how how shit going how shit been going the last few years, you know you would get hot from uh, talking about a bunch of fuck shit, dissing niggas, uh, all type of shit like that, and it's like I wasn't willing to compromise who I feel like I am for a higher game with that. So I gotta blame myself on why I ain't get to where I want to get to with that. And then when it comes to anything else I'm doing, even like. The fact that I'm still working a job. You know how many people who know me over the years and they can't believe that I be working a job because all the shit I done did, you feel me? Like, I ain't, I ain't you know, I ain't never been just, the, I, I mean, I always been the average nigga, but a regular person, but it's like, I always held myself high, which I, I still do, you feel me? I'm, you know, but shit, I couldn't believe, like, even when I had to go back to work, it was like the shit was humbling, but I needed that too. Cause I went a long time without working. Cause I just, I was straight. You feel me? But, uh, but I, I got to blame myself with everything. You feel me? So, and what that do, it make you, it make you move off. Like it make you get on some shit. Like I know I could change the situation. You feel me? Cause I'm the reason why I'm in this situation. It's not like, damn man, all of those clothes that, I'm, I just got to it, it make you don't want to settle because you know damn well you the reason where you you the reason you at where you at you feel me so it's like and then especially when you getting older you pushing these higher ages like me I'm going through a thing sometimes be like bro I'm about to be 30 in 10 months that shit kind of like damn like it ain't no more excuses about nothing like nigga supposed to have they shit I, I feel like you supposed to have your shit together or you supposed to be getting your shit together and Sometimes I be feeling behind. I'm gonna make a whole new video about that, but it, it'll make it, it just make a nigga like, man, you know, I gotta, you know, going back to my last video, social media and all that, like, it, it make you notice, like, all that shit be bullshit. Like, nigga gotta make better decisions, you know, shit be all funny games to it's not no more, to shit get real. And it's like, man, when you hold yourself accountable, you know, you look at it different. You don't, like me, I'm not looking around, and I ain't, at this point, I'm not just. I ain't fuck. I was just going through some shit, so you know. But I take my L's and my W's on my own now, and with the people who going through it with me. So that's how I move nowadays. You feel me? But it's like, man, you know, I, I want you know, like me, I want to be way further than where I, where, I, where I'm at. I want it to be way further than where I'm at, but that caused me to make impulsive decisions and 
and trying to do shit the fast route and taking all the lot like my big losses and shit come from me trying to speed the process up instead of just enjoying the journey and uh like you know doing this shit like i don't want to be rambling but like man i'm just saying like bro the biggest thing especially as a man woman too but as a man you could do is hold yourself accountable because all it's gonna do is make you be a forward thinker like all right if i would have did like you it, like i look back on certain shit and i'd be like all right when i had this if i would have did this i wouldn't have been here because i you know it's like it's just a step-by-step -step process with this shit and that's how life i feel like that's how a nigga could get ahead in life you feel me and that's what i'm doing you feel me like it's like i'm looking at the mistakes i made and i'm not regretting nothing you feel me i ain't regretting nothing because shit this part of my journey so i don't regret shit you feel me but at the same time it's like i'm looking at if i would have made this decision better all right i ain't finna say if i would have made it better let me go ahead and today make a better decision because you know so that i i, I don't thought of another video idea right now that i'm probably gonna record right after this but uh but yeah man we gotta we gotta start holding ourselves more accountable like and really just know we the reason where we at you feel me nobody else not your mama your daddy sister aunt, whatever the government the system the rich white man you feel me like none of that shit we the reason where we at well uh, we the reason we here you feel me and once you adopt that mindset that shit down there set you free you feel me because now it's like nobody ain't standing in my way no more it's on me so now i gotta go out here you know educate myself a little bit and just take that you know get one percent better every day ain't nobody could stop this shit you feel me that's how i feel like you feel me like my brand i take my brand very seriously but i haven't been like pouring into my shit over the last few years and it's like that shit be kind of bothering me but it's like shit you know i ain't doing what i supposed to be doing even though this shit wasn't just me it was me and other niggas but fuck that this shit about me i'm not you know I'm the face of this shit. I'm I, I'm the one who really love this shit. So I'm the reason why this shit not on the level I want it to be. But I could change the narrative and start in the day, you feel me, take them steps into making this shit a more respectable brand. And, you know, so it, it just, you know, like y'all already know me. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I'm a rant, man. So <laughs> that, that's what I'm doing right now. But now nah, I, I really wanted to get this message across though, like, Start holding yourself accountable, man. That's the best thing you could do. Like, it's going to, you know, shit going to get easier once you do that because you ain't looking to blame nobody. You always t you always holding yourself accountable, and now you can move forward from that. You feel me? But, yeah, I just rock with me, man. Pot Doja, Campaign SG forever, man.